Let's do a uh, quick video real quick about how to make dimple dies. I'm sure you've seen them on race cars before. They're pretty cool looking. They're pretty neat. This plate is for my E46 build right here. It's for the A-pillar right there along the roll cage, connecting the roll cage to the A-pillar. Um, they're real neat. You can use them for a lot of things. They add a lot of rigidity to sheet metal. Um, they reduce weight. Um, most of all, they look really freaking cool. So, uh, how to do them? You're going to need a set of dimple dies, first of all. Um, the set that I purchased was from swagoffroad.com. Um, you can buy sets like these that have a hole through the middle that uh, are bolt through, they're called bolt through dimple dies, and they allow you to um, do several things. They allow you to do it um, right on a chassis or on something that you can't get over to the press or can't, um, yeah, basically. They just, they allow you to do it on something that you wouldn't be able to take over to a press and press in like a small piece of sheet metal like that. Like you could do, you could use these anywhere pretty much. I mean, I could drill a hole, um, you know, right in my door right here and dimple die that right here on the car, which is, it's pretty cool. Um, Without the hole, you will have to use a press. Um, just over here, hiding behind all this stuff, you'll need, basically, uh, if I can move this, I think my wheel's locked. There we go. You'll need a press like this, um, and uh, you will, uh, I'll get to that part in a little bit. Um, so, Basically, these form those uh, dimple-dyed holes. Um, you'll need to start uh, with basically cutting a hole out this side, uh, this size, uh, so that will slide through the center, and then you can start your dimple die. Um, I recommend hole punches. You can use a hole saw if you don't have the money to get hole punches, or if you just don't like using hole punches. Um, but I highly recommend using a hole punch, like something like this. So, um, what I do to do my hole punch holes is I start with a 3 8 hole, and then I punch a 3 quarter inch hole, um, which is the size, which is the diameter of this bolt right here, and the diameter of that hole, and then um, I'm able to uh, punch out whatever size I need for my dimple die setup. Um, and that also leaves like no burrs on the metal. It's a really clean cut hole, uh, hole saw. You're gonna have to deburr it. You're gonna have to get rid of all the nasty stuff in there, and that's just no fun at all. Um, but with those, uh, this is pretty much how it comes out. I did a quick deburr around the bottom side of this, but the top side, I mean, it's it's smooth as butter. So. Um, just saves time, uh, saves effort, and uh, it's uh, a lot easier to do it that way. But if you do have to do it in the press, you just, or if you do have to uh, hole saw a hole, you know, hole saw it out, that's the hard way. And if you do have to do it in the press, if you don't want to buy the bolt through set, that's the other hard way to do it. Um, and uh, you would basically just, you know, press it down. This one's a little bound up because it's worn out. Um, but yeah, you'd press that down and until it was flat, and uh, that's how you dimple die. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, the tools are kind of expensive. The die sets are kind of expensive. Um, they have to be made out of uh, pretty hard material, and the whole saw sets aren't cheap either. So um, it's not a cheap thing to get the tools for, but the results can be worth it. Um, Best way to set yourself up to get nice even holes, you know, I drew a line down the center, I drew a grid pattern across, and I evened them out. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty neat stuff. Um, cool. I'll show you a little video of uh, what it's like to press one of these things in. Oh, and uh, with the bolt through dies, what I use is a Harbor Freight, I'll put a picture of it up there, but a Harbor Freight. Um, uh, sort of, I guess it's a hydraulic press thing, like a hand hydraulic press thing. Um, they're not too expensive, and it works with that three-quarter inch bolt, 
and uh, then you can do them on your bench. You don't need the press, and you can do it on the car. You can do them anywhere. And there you have it. So, uh, yeah, that's Dimple Die 101, in case you guys were wondering. Um, so, have fun. Build some cool race cars. Build some cool stuff. And uh, keep learning. See you guys later.